Hey you guys, I'm showing y'all how I season my chicken. Now this is lace and I season the same way when I use chicken wings. So I use a pack of Sassoon. Yes, that's, that's what's in here already. I already added one pack already. I didn't think to record until after I put it. So this is how I season all my chickens. My chicken wings, my chicken legs, chicken backs, you know, thigh, chicken thighs. This is how I, what I use to season my chicken. I use my all purpose. I made this myself, my homemade mixture, my homemade all purpose mixture. No salt added. So I add and I use adobo with um, black pepper. I use adobo. It's the red top. So, um, it depends also if I'm going to bake this, air fry it, or boil it, like stew it on the stove. So, when I'm going to fry it, I only use one tablespoon of adobo. But if I'm going to boil it, like make a soup or something, I use maybe one and a half tablespoons or two of these or two tablespoons. And then, you know, but being that I'm going to air fry this, I'm just going to use one tablespoon. So that's what I use when I'm, if I'm going to bake it, um, air, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> oh, that's strong. Whenever I bake it, air fry it, I only use one tablespoon of the sodium of the um of the adobo. But if I'm gonna put it in the pot and add water to it and cut onions and green peppers and all that and and carrots and celery to make like a soup, I do two tablespoons of adobo. Oh, I put the spoon in here. So the only difference is one tablespoon. So if I'm gonna make soup two tablespoons of the adobo and this is my all per one tablespoon of my um homemade all-purpose seasoning i do two of that i don't think i did a video of me of me making my all-purpose seasoning so stay tuned for that sometime i don't know when but stay tuned so Ooh, excuse me. Um, I add mustard. I usually don't add mustard, only when I'm when I'm gonna fry it, the chicken, air fry it. But I said let me just use it for every, all the time. So yeah, and you just put as much as you want. I don't measure this part. Okay, so and I add this too. Mrs. Dash, um, lemon pepper. So this is what I add to my chicken. Whether I'm baking it, frying it. Because usually, let me tell y'all something. I usually only do add lemon pepper and mustard when I'm frying the chicken. But I, just, I said, let me just use it all the time. And there you go. You mix everything up. Clean as you go. So, I don't know if you, I'm thinking about is there something else I add. But in my um homemade mixture, is garlic in there, is paprika, white pepper, parsley, oregano, just to name a few. That's what's in my all-purpose seasoning. And I don't, uh, and black pepper too. And white pepper and there's other ingredients too I didn't mention but yeah so I just use adobo I use my all-purpose mixture all-purpose season mixture no salt added to that mustard um what's that lemon pepper see uh, mrs. dash lemon pepper um, and sassoon and you just mix it you mix it all up 
If I was going to make soup, I would put another tablespoon of adobo. But I only use one tablespoon and it covers the all the chicken. This is what, 12 legs? So yeah, it's enough. Yep. And then you let I let this sit for an hour. Let it rest, let it marinate for an hour before I even cook it. And I do that for whatever chicken I'm going to make. However I'm going to make it, bake it, air fry it, deep fry it, um, you know, boil it on the stove, you know, a.k.a. Sm um, smother chicken or stew. You know, however way I make my chicken, however way I'm going to cook it, I season it and I let it sit for an hour. You know, and this bowl here, covered with a blue top. Mm -hmm. I love to air fry legs. Oh. So, and then you let it sit for an hour. And if you want, you can you can throw some um hot sauce in it. But I don't do that because you know I cook for my son too. And they don't and my husband and they don't like spicy food. They don't like hot hot stuff. So that's optional. And you know, yeah. So there you go. Nice and red. I don't know if y'all can see that, but Yep. And that's it. And you can put red pepper. You can put red pepper flakes in there too. That's optional. I say that because if you're cooking for yourself, yeah, you can add that. So you can add this in here too, crushed. Red pe red peppers. It looks brown. It, it looks brown on the screen, but it's red. But anywho, yeah. And sometimes I add the spicy brown mustard to it. But I'm out of this, so I don't even know why this is still in the cabinet. But yeah, so that's it, y'all. Just thought I'd come on here and show y'all how I season my chicken, um, and what ingredients I use in my chicken. So, yeah, sometimes I used to add salt to my um, homemade all-purpose seasoning mixture. I used to add salt to it. I used to add pink salt. That's what I used to add to it in the beginning. But I stopped because I use adobo, too. So I used to use the grind-up one, you know, the ones, the fine one. And this is good. I, I forgot I had this in there. So, anyway, that's it. You can add parsley to it too on top if you want a little bit. It's in here already. I already have parsley in my, my mixture, my seasoning mixture. But yeah, I love parsley. So whenever you see me, you know, whenever I show y'all my baked chicken and air fried chicken and stewed chicken, you know, I made my soup. That's exactly how I season it. The only difference is that when I'm cooking it, no, the only difference is that when I'm air frying it or baking it, I only add one tablespoon of adobo. If it's going in the pot with some onions, green peppers, and all that good stuff, I add two tablespoons of adobo. So yeah, y'all. Here you have it. I'm going to cover this for one hour, and I'm out. Alexa, set timer for one hour. One hour, starting now. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.